Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red Deer Pro and Neighborhood Tool Bear back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today is Monday, March 27th, which means it's time for, come on, say it with me, Deals of the Week. All right. Remember, now we got all the hot tool deals here, but we're going to save the best to last hottest tool deal of the week. Let me know if you think that Bear nailed it on this one because I, it's, you're not going to believe who has it. it. It's it's just, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm even going to say this. Anyway, let's jump into it. First off, we got Top Test. Uh, a lot of people said that they missed out on the deal. I think it was last week or the week before. So I reached out to them and they've extended the deal. We got 10% off on this. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a sniffer for natural gas. And it does, well, it does natural gas. It does propane. Basically, any of those kind of nasty, you know, combustible kind of gases, it should pick up. Anyway, it, normally $19. It's on sale 10%. Now, they also gave me a 10% off coupon code just for you all. So we're going to put that down below. The idea was some people weren't getting the coupon before, so this should make up for that. But if you can stack them, I don't know if that's going to work for you. But hey, you do you, right? Anyway, and as always, links are down below. Now, this one. So if you guys remember, I was talking about the Fantic jump starter. I was saying this is the you know most solidly built jump starter uh, I, I've seen yet. And uh, topped on, not to be confused with, with top test here, Top Don's like, hold my beer, Bear. <laughs> we got something we want you to look at. Now, they sent one of these over, okay? Now, look at this. Price on this is $170. This is a 3,000 uh, uh, amp. This is just the same amp as the Fantic, okay? 12 volt. Now, the difference is the Fantic had the digital display. This one doesn't have a digital display. It just shows the little, you know, 25, 50, 75, or 100% charge down there. But it comes with a case. It has similar heavy duty kind of connectors like we saw on the Fantic. Uh, I, so I've, I've got this, we're going to have a video out on it this week. I'm going to say, don't buy it at this price. 169. They're supposed to be sending me a coupon code. It's going to blow this $20 off out of the water. We're going to get it down to $130 for a 30 amp or 3000 amp. That that's insane. And, uh, and it comes with a case, which is $40 on top for the Fantic. This is, this is, I, I don't know. We're going to talk about it again. Don't buy it at this price. Don't even buy it at the $20 off price. Check if I get the coupon code, I'll put it down below or wait to the video later in the week because it's ridiculous. All right. First up, we got to talk some, some safety. I always talk about this. You got to have some fire extinguishers in your life. It's, it's one of those, there's things in your life you just need to have, not because you think it's going to happen. Don't plan for, you know, the average case. You got to plan for the reasonable worst case scenario. And for $21, this is 45% off. I don't know if it's 45% off, but it, it's a nice savings over what's been selling for like the last six months. I think this thing's been selling for, uh, you know, a, a, a good chunk, like five bucks more than this. So it's a first alert. That's an, an established brand. It's a garage fire extinguisher. Every shop should have one. There's, it's just a no, it, there's no question. You should have it. If you don't have one, this is the one to get. There you go. Uh, and then they have a kitchen version. You can get, look, it's in the nice white kind of color. We actually have this one in our RV. Um, anyway, next up. Yes, it's back. I can't believe they, they came back $130 for this cart. And there's a $10 off coupon. That's ridiculous. Now, for those of you who don't know, who haven't been around for this cart deal before. So what I love about this cart is that the tabletop slides open butterfly style. So if you have stuff laid out, you don't have to move it to get into your cart, which is one of the things I hate about like the five and four drawer carts you see over at Harbor Freight. Cause I, I, I'm a messy bear in the shop and I, I need a workstation and I like be able to pull the, the, the cart over to where I'm working, lay stuff out, uh, and parts and tools and stuff like that. And then if I need to get into stuff, I don't want to have to move it. So here you go. That's what I love about this. I even like the red accent on the drawer. This is a great cart. Here's one thing about this. The pegboard, I'm iffy on the pegboard. I probably would not install it. I probably, maybe I'd rig it to, to install it on the sides or on the back or something like that, but I'm not going to walk around with a bunch of, it just feels like it'd be kind of wobbly. I don't know if you, if you did set it up that way and you like it, say, look, they, they just hung the pegboard on the wall, but that's what it looks like closed. That's what it looks like open. Now just understand this, look at the dimensions on this thing, okay, before you buy it, before you jump in there, 
check out the dimensions because it's not as big as a lot of it's 13 it's basically 14 inches deep so this is a small utility cart but that makes it great for being able to move around the shop especially if you don't have a huge shop all right if you got a, a smaller shop or you know even if you have a big shop i have a decent sized shop essentially it's a three car garage and i still need space to put things uh <laughs> i'm running out of space so quickly it's it's wrong it's just wrong anyway I think this is a ridiculous deal for a work cart uh, at 120 bucks. Anyway, uh, let's keep going on. We got the uh, the works Pegahor Peg Pegahorse Pe Pegasus folding work table sawhorse. There we go. It's on sale for 105 dollars. These are nice little tables. They they uh, they usually go for the hunt around 130 140 dollars. So this is a real sweetheart of a deal if you've been looking for a good workstation kind of thing. I love the plastic tables that fold up. They've got and this one's got the clamps with the with the T track in it and all sorts of clamping points and stuff like that. Um, it, it, is it my favorite? It's no, it's not my personal favorite, but for that price um it's hard and look it folds down even to a sawhorse so you got sawhorse and work table all in one with the clamps i, I don't know 105 dollars. it's hard to argue with that all right let's keep going here we got kinepic i can't believe that you know i'm always looking for kinepic deals and i see deals and i'm like oh these will be great and then i look in the price history and the, they're horrible they're <laughs> they're just horrible but lately a few have been slipping through and if you don't know what kinepic is kinepic is the Mercedes-Benz uh, of hand tools, all right? Uh, you know, European-made. Uh, they're they're not in Germany, aren't they? They're like in, I don't know. There's some some little Prince, Princeton or something. I could be wrong. Uh, that's, that's, but anyway, German S, let's call them that. The $29.90 uh, on this. And a lot of times you'll see the Amazon price, especially on stuff like this, is being greatly exaggerated. Well, in this case, they're normally selling for was it like like thirty eight dollars? So that's ten dollars off. Ten dollars off. That's a huge sale on Kinepex. Uh, trust me, if you've not gotten any pliers like from them, you will. They're made in Germany. I guess it is made in Germany. I thought they were based. You know what? I'm I'm thinking of. Sorry, I'm thinking of uh, what should we call it? Best tool. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my tool brands confused. Now, if you want more American made, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. How about Channel Lock? The guys who invented this kind of concept, the tongue and groove pliers, aka channel lock pliers. And this is another brand that, you know, you really, they, they show sa savings on Amazon. But when you really, when you look back and you think about, well, it, you know, it's actually been at that price for like a year, right? Well, this one's normally sitting at $20 and here it is on sale at $15.35. Again, that's like 25% off, about the same as the Kinepex. Uh, and so if you prefer to go with the American made, I mean, I love my channel locks. They're great. Made in the USA, 420. Great tools. Uh, 1535 on that. All right. Somebody asked for electrical cords. Here you go. Yellow jacket, 12.3, heavy duty, yeah, medium duty, 15 amp SJTW contractor extension cords with the light up ends. Love the light up ends. So I know whether I got unplugged or not. Uh, $25 for a, a 25 foot. That's a buck a foot there. It's not a bad deal on that one. All right. This is interesting. The Works Nitro, if you know, Works sent me their new, Nitro is their new, trying to really like show like, hey, we can make good power tools. And honestly, uh, I've been impressed. They sent me their drill and their impact driver. And I was, I was not expecting much. And I, I had to eat some humble pie on that one because they were good. This is their jigsaw here. And again, you got the three settings with the orbital. And remember, on jigsaws, orbital isn't smoother, it's faster. You can get a rougher cut, but it's going to... So if you're just rough cutting stuff, switch it to orbital, orbital, angry beaver mode goes right through it. If you want a fine cut, you got to go into the slower modes, okay? Anyway, $126, $127. Again, this is a decent sale price on this. Normally sitting at a hundred was a hundred seventy bucks for this. Not many sales on this, so really, and considering it comes with the battery and the charger, uh, and it's and yeah, it's brushless. That's the thing about the nitro. As far as I, I've seen, all the nitro stuff is brushless. Brushless twenty volt, you gotta like it. And if you're if you're going that route anyway, why not grab this eighty dollars? You're getting the uh, the speed was a two speed leaf uh, blower there with battery and charger included. That battery is interchangeable with the uh, the jigsaw there, so you're getting all the all the the great power there. I gotta tell you, Works is really 
jump out. You know, there used to be that company that was kind of quirky and, but kind of, I don't want to say sketchy, just kind of weird. And they're really becoming a more established alternative to some of the bigger name brands for the DIY or weekend warrior kind of level. Skill, again, at that DIY, kind of pushing towards that prosumer. Uh, this is their 40 volt line. You're getting a string trimmer, leaf blower combo. This one is a good sale price off of the normal price. Uh, it was normally, I think it was $170 is what it was normally selling at. Well, <laughs> anyway, uh, they, they have it listed like normally 300 bucks. No one's buying this for 300 bucks, but you're still saving 20, 30 bucks on this down to $158. All right, let's move along. We've got, if you, when we're talking about outdoor power equipment, we got to talk about Ego. You know, I'm a fan bear for Ego. They made by Shervon. These guys, the best batteries in the biz. I, I bar none. And the Cadillac of outdoor power tools for the homeowner. Just incredible. 56 volt lithium ion. Comes with a four amp hour charger and battery. Uh, the 18 inch chainsaw kit. The whole nine yards, you're getting the whole thing there for two hundred and seventy nine dollars. It may seem pricey, but you you can't you can't contest ego. Ego is is just they they just work. They just they're they're no nonsense. You go out there, you start them up, they just work. If you're gonna get that, the, here's another option. We got the blower. This is a five hundred thirty cfm, so that's your mid range kind of blower. Two point five amp hour battery and charger included with that one. So now you're getting a, another battery. These batteries are pricey. Literally, the battery on that is two thirds the cost of that blower. Now check this out. If this is, <laughs> if you already got the battery and you're already in the ego line, you have to take a look at this. This is their 765 CFM blower. Now no charger, this is tool only. So you're gonna have to bring your own charger and battery, but 700, 765 CFM. I think that's like a class three, class four hurricane in your paw there. Uh, might be banned in Florida. They get a little sketchy about stuff like that. So a <laughs> kid, the kid, the bear kids, weed trimmers, ego weed trimmer, $109 battery charges, tool only battery charger, not included on this one. Again, you got to bring the, the, the power yourself. All right. Greenworks known for the outdoor power equipment. They're getting into the hand tool equipment. Look at this. Now they've been doing this for a while. They sent me some of the brush stuff. I'll be honest. I was like, meh, I, I the brush stuff does. It doesn't blow my fur back. I wasn't excited about it. Now, I talked to Brad over at Brad's Workbench. If you haven't checked him out, don't bother. He's a, he's a tool. Anyway, no, again, I love Brad. He's a good guy. Go check out, go check out his, his channel. Anyway, Greenworks 24 volt. This is their brushless stuff. And he's telling me that this stuff's really good. He really likes it. And I'm like, all right, so we'll start including it here. $91.59 uh, cents for the combo kit. That's getting you a, a brushless 24 volt, AKA Cobalt style. We're looking at a drill driver and an impact two batteries. It does have the plug-in charger pack on top, which I don't care for, but you know, uh, and then the bag on top of that. So uh, I, I guess it's a decent deal. Let me know if you're in the Brushworks 24 volt line, let me know down in the comments what you think. Skill, here we go, 23.89 plus a $5 coupon, taking this to sub 20. For just your general, what I always think of as the kitchen drawer screwdriver, right? This is the one thing where you're in the, there's cabinets that come with, oh, there always seems to be something to tighten down in or around the kitchen, right? Somebody like, and this way, if I have something like this in the house, then I don't have to run out to the shop and get my good tools and the wife or kids don't have to borrow the good tools. And then I don't have to murder anybody. It seems like a good solution to me. All right. And except hoses, somebody was asking about hoses the other day. Uh, I can't remember if it was one of the videos or it might have been in the, the live podcast. We do it now every Sunday here. We do it. We we're talking yesterday about if you missed it, we had a big, long conversation about the fall of American made craftsmen, uh, something near and dear to all of our hearts. Unfortunately, as if you didn't hear, yeah, that factory in Texas that was going to happen, uh, not happening. It's official. They're not doing it. They're closing it down. Wow. Just wow. Anyway. Somebody asked about garden hoses, any good deals out there. So here's what we got. We got the Draft Tools Hybrid Garden Hose, 100 foot, 5 8 heavy duty, flexible, lightweight water hose, swivel grip. Uh, and you're looking at six, was it $63.74? That's 64 cents a foot. Now look at this. This has got stellar ratings here. Uh, practically a little, I want to call it a fish hook, but not really 10, uh, 10,590 ratings on here. That is ridiculous. Now, for those of you 
who were wondering about fish hooks. And I talk about the fish hook kind of thing. Let me show you what I mean about a fish hook. So I saw this, this product the other day and it uses sonic uh, waves to loosen up mucus and stuff in your sinuses. And I'm like, that seems kind of cool. I wonder if it works. And I look over here and it's like three out of five stars. I'm like, eh, maybe not. But let me click on this here so you can see it. Look at that. Okay, this is what we're talking about. This is a this is a just ridiculously obvious fish hook. Usually the five stars are much longer. But if you laid a fish hook down on it, you would see it comes down in a nice little curve and those one stars come up and that's the part that hooks you. Because when you look at this, I mean, you're like, that's, you know, that should have a much lower rating than it does. Uh, uh, it should, that thing doesn't even worth three stars. That is a two star, one star at, at best. Anyway, that's what we talk about the fish hook. You got to watch out for those one stars because you'll see a lot of fake reviews on Amazon and you'll be a ton of five stars. But then if you, it, if a good review pattern is going to show up, you know, let, let's see here. Let, let's look at this one. Let's see what their pattern. That's a great review pattern. All right. A ton of five stars, a few four stars, three stars, two stars, and one stars. Just keep going down, down, down. That That's a normal pattern. Skill, big enough company, they don't have to worry about stuff like that. This you, there definitely is some padding going on. And even then, it's it's terrible. <laughs> anyway, we will not recommend that. All right, Flexzilla Garden Hose here. Coming in, 64,000 ratings. Let's see what their fish hook is like. Non-existent about. All right, so we're looking there. 50-foot, uh, 5 eighths hose. Coming in at $41, 33 cents a foot. Okay, good solid. Now, I know someone's going to ask about these. I didn't see any great deals, but this is the one I use for in the RV and stuff like that. And I use these collapsing hoses because they don't take up a lot of space. They're super lightweight and you can throw them all over the place. Uh, do watch out if you got really rough concrete, they can eat these hoses as you drag them across, at least the older ones. Uh, they're saying these new ones, the, the DAC 5 fiber, it's stronger than ever. I haven't tried drag. I don't even take them near con like rough concrete anymore. I'm so worried about them getting frayed and broken. Uh, $26.19 for a 50 foot hose. Uh, anyway, th that's what we use in the RV, but you know, for home use, probably go with something like that. That's a nice one. All right. Now let's jump over to ACE. We talked about outdoor power equipment. I've got to include this one. We've got, they've got a deal going on with Craftsman. If you're in the Craftsman 20 volt line, and again, I only recommend 20 volt outdoor power equipment for light duty outdoor work. Okay. If you've got a real yard or, or, you know, big bushes or trees or weeds or whatever, you want to get into the 40 volt or higher lines. But if you've got a very light duty kind of yard, smaller yard, 20 volt will be fine. Anyway, they've got the Craftsman deal here. We've got uh, four items here that are on sale. We got the chainsaw, we got the trimmer, we got the blower, and we got the edger. Basically, most of the basic stuff you're going to need. And when you buy it, you can see this. It's a BOGO. You buy one and you get a battery. You get this battery with it for free. So you're getting the battery and charger with the battery and charger, battery and charger, battery and charger. So you're already getting a battery and charger and you're getting a second battery free. Now, is it a great, amazing battery? No, it's a two amp hour lithium ion battery. But you know what? Free battery is a free battery, right? Uh, and I got to include this one because we were talking about ego because you know you want it. You know, don't, don't lie to the bear. You know you want it. Ace is the place if you want to spend six grand on an outdoor riding motor that looks like it's controlled by a PlayStation. Uh, and, and I joke, but I mean, it's probably awesome. Ego, they don't screw around. They really do their product testing. They know what they're doing. They're one of the first ones to do a setup like this. I haven't tried it, but it looks it, lo <laughs> it looks like it should be in Mario Kart. Like I should be throwing red shells at people. I want one. I'm not going to spend six grand on it, but uh, you got to see you got to see the back of these things because the, the back of these remind me like an insect because where you put the batteries is this huge. Oh, look at the steering wheel. That is some F1 racing. Look, is that paddle switches? Oh, that's reverse. I'm like, does it really have paddle switches? That is cool. All right. Okay. I have enough geeking out there, but uh, yeah, that's the battery pack in the back. I think it holds six of them. You can run with four, I think, but you can put in up to six if I remember correctly. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's keep going here. Let's go over to uh, Home Depot. If you've been looking for an assembly screwdriver uh, and the Milwaukee Fuel, I mean, okay. So Bosch basically built this, this niche and Milwaukee is like, oh, that's a nice niche you built there. Be a shame if somebody came over and stole it from you, and they kind of did. They they came in hard with this thing. 
I, and they even built it to look very. I don't understand the front handle thing here on this. That is just, is there electronics in there? I guess there's a light in there because I would have taken a hacksaw and cut that off, but I guess you can't. It just seems ridiculous. Anyway, um, the magnetic bit holder in the front, that's nice. The But the point is, and, and, and they're, it's not their fault. They're copying somebody else there. So uh, Festool, I think it was, does does one like that. And uh, actually, maybe they were the first one to market on this. They, I, I think they were. I, I think I'm Bosch. Bosch has one. But I think Festool was the guys who actually started this. But anyway, M12 fuel, 12-volt, lithium-ion, cordless, 4-in-1 installation, 3 8 drill dryer. It, it's a great tool. I, I give them a hard time. It's a great tool. $200 for a fuel 12-volt. Uh, you're getting two batteries. Okay, you're getting all the, the adapter heads. So you're, you're getting the, the you can just plug in the regular bits. You could, you got a chuck, you got an offset, you got a right angle, you got the quick release, you got the, uh, the, the battery pack, uh, regular battery pack down there. You got this one. It, what is it? It has two, you get two of those. Why, why is it saying two 2.0? But that's clearly not a 2.0 that it's showing. Uh, Cause it tells you, tells you it comes with a five amp hour. Are you getting two? Two amp hour, maybe, ooh, is that a BOGO on there? Is that a BOGO? They hide, hide a BOGO in here on us? Whoa. Anyway, all right, moving on. We got people always asking about miter saws, and I always talk about the Harbor Freight one, and it's been on sale back to pre-pandemic kind of pricing. And Ridge is like, hey, we can do that too. 15 amp corded 12 inch dual bevel sliding miter saw, seven degree miter capacity, and LED cut line in. That's the drop shadow for... $300, $300. Again, I'm not a fan of rigid because of the LSA. Everyone's like, it's got a lifetime warranty. It's not a warranty. It's an agreement. And they weasel out of it all the time. But they also have a basic warranty as well. And they're pretty good about that. $300. And, and rigid has made good miter saws for years. They, they really have. Uh, I wouldn't, I, I have not tried this one personally. If you have it, or you've tried it, put it down in, in the comments. We're looking at 2,200 reviews, 4.4 stars. I'd say, honestly, with the experience I've had with Rigid Miter Sauce, I, I think it's probably good to go at $300. All right. All right, then let's talk about Ryobi for a second. Even if you're not in the Ryobi line, they've got so many great accessories that it, it almost makes sense because we do. I do. I don't use Ryobi tools on a daily basis, but I've got a ton of stuff. I got the clamp fan. I got the glue guns. I got the little Dremel thing. Uh, here's a seven and a quarter inch or seven and a half inch fan with two amp hour battery and charger. Uh, it, it seems like a no brainer kind of thing to, to get just to have around for some extra stuff. You know, we use this kind of stuff like, you know, I let the family use, you know, rather than, you know, it's not going to live in the shop. It's kind of like for generic, you know, use and stuff like that. And you know what? That's nice. All right, and then still at Home Depot, we got the Milwaukee Shockwave kit here. Look at this. You're looking at 3 8 inch SAE and metric six-point impact sockets here, plus the Shockwave bits. That nice little case there for 121 That's 39% off, $77 you're saving. If you've been looking to get into a kit like this, this is, this is a nice little, you know, uh, general utility kit to carry around. I like that. And I'm kind of down on the Milwaukee sockets. So I think they're often overpriced and whatnot. That's a pretty sharp kit there for that price. All right. Now let's jump over to direct tools. They've got a killer BOGO going on. Not, okay. Not a BOGO. It's a BOBO buy one, buy, buy one kind of deal. Uh, that sounds kind of weird. BOBO. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe it's a T anyway, Ryobi hobby station. Check this out. If you buy the hobby station, and get a qualified item for $10, must add, blah, blah, blah. You can, the qualifying items are the rotary tools. So basically, this is nice. For $100, you get the whole thing. You get the rotary tool and the hobby station, which basically turns your rotary tool into a drill press of sorts for small hobby work. I, I don't know what you'd be drilling. Uh, maybe it'd be things made out of plastic that are like 80% of something else. Uh, that, you know, would be finished. And then yeah, there, there's all sorts of stuff like that. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't have any idea what somebody would use it for or what I would use it for. Anyway, that's a pretty, uh, that's a nice little setup there. And here's the, here's the full list of price. We got the $90 of that. And then these kits are normally, you know, 90 bucks. You add those on there. This is all part of the deal. That's a 
scream a deal. Again, Direct Tools, you will have to pay shipping on it unless you're one of those lucky fools who happens to be near a Direct Tool store. People always want to flaunt that, oh, look, I'm right next to Branson. Stop bringing up Branson. The wife's going to kill me if I don't take her to Branson again. All right, over at Harbor Freight, this deal is still going on. It's the Bauer, used to be Franklin, hands-free portable clamping station. This thing is great. Uh, I've had the Rockwell. Uh, I've, I've used a bunch of the other ones. Uh, in fact, if you saw my video on it, the the they're interchangeable. The clamping plate, you can take one off of this and put it on the other one. They work just fine. They're, they're virtually identical. Are they perfect? No. Are the clamps on the back, like these little clamps down here and up here, they 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 don't seem they've lost their ability to hold uh which you know that's a bummer and all but i had the same problem with the jaw horse i do like this they have flat feet not the big hoop like the jaw horse has because i kept tripping over those but i mean for a hundred dollars i'll here's the deal i bought one from harbor freight uh actually i don't know if they sent it to me or i bought that one i don't remember uh let's just assume they send it to me uh and i left it and it still lives outdoors next to my, on the side yard of my house, because I also use it for cutting wood and stuff. Uh, anyway, I, I leave it out there. Winter, summer, rain, fall. It, it is now, it's been there three years in Montana. All right. We get hundred plus degrees in the summer. It was negative 30 in the winter for a while. All right. And it still works fine. It's a nice soft pink color at this point. I'll have to do an update when we get back. But, uh, you know, I treat it like a redheaded stepchild and it just keeps coming back for more. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right. We're over at Walmart. We got to talk about some more outdoor power. Spring is here, guys. Spring is here. Oh, my gosh. And mowers and outdoor trimmers and stuff. I, you know, I'm a huge fan of Hart. Okay. Full disclosure. They did send me a mower and trimmer a while back. But the Hart 40-volt cordless 20-inch push mower, this is just a great workhorse of a mower. Uh, $295, you get the six amp hour battery. Now get this, it's a push mower. So there, you're not going to lose any power there to the self-propelled kind of part. And you're getting six amp hours. They're saying this will do a half acre. And I'll say it'll do that easily because uh, the Cubs ran a, uh, uh, what you call a lawn care business. They do it off and on. They do people's yards and stuff. And they use my mower for it. And yes, I charge them $5 a yard to use my mower because they need to learn that, you know, when you're basically renting equipment, that's cost of doing business. That's not just all profit. Anyway, the, um, and they usually get the $5 back anyway. They're always taking money from me. Anyway, the point is that uh, the they're, they're all plastic. And people are like, ah, I don't want to buy plastic for this. I found to be great. I, I used to be with you, but you know what? You can't dent it. If you scratch it, it's the same color all the way throughout. It's not going to rust, and it's super lightweight. With the battery not in this, I could pick this up with one paw. Not even all the digits on one paw. These things are light, and they're easy to pick up. You can you look at they're easy to store because there's no fluids in them. So you can just turn them on their side, hang them on the wall, do whatever you want, uh, and, and then come next spring, you put a battery in it, and it just starts. just starts. That's magical. Uh, we got the blower here again, 650 CFM. That's the top range of the midway mid mid tier blowers or the bottom range of the high tier blowers, $238 with a five amp hour battery and charger. That's why you're paying that. Price. That is, I have this blower. It is an absolute beast. Is it a class four hurricane? No, it's probably a class one, but you know what? It moves some stuff around. Uh, and then I got included because we talked about the ego. It's the riding lawnmower for only $3,000. Now, this is a lithium ion, so it's using the new battery tech. And honestly, I, I really want one. I do. I, I don't have heart. Don't send me one. I don't have the, the space or capacity for it. And if you did, I would probably take the mower thing off of it, lower it, and turn it into a go-kart. So, yes, please do send me one. Anyway, three grand on that. If, if, if I had a yard that could justify it, I, I would be hard pressed not to get something like that because it's just, it's quiet compared to a gas mower. It's, it's quick, it's nimble, and it just works. You just put the batteries in, you just go to town. All right, let's, all right. Well, we also have Hart 20 volt, by the way, they have this tool kit here. They have five tool, uh, was it five tool circular saw and sander project kit? Uh, yeah, you've got the drill, the, the circ saw, and you've got the sander. Okay, five, three tools. Plus the vac. I've got the vac. It's a decent little vac. We use it around the RV all the time. 
Uh, is it the strongest thing out there? No, but it picks up dog food, miscellaneous, you know, crumbs from the kids and whatnot. We use it a bunch. Uh, the light, not a big fan of the light. It, it's a light. I guess it works. The charging pack, it's got the little charging pack that goes on it. It, could, it does come with a 4 amp hour battery and a 1.5. The 1.5, meh, good for the flashlight. Uh, not good for much else. I guess it works on the drill okay. Uh, the 4 amp hour you're going to need for the circ saw and the sander and the vacuum. Uh, and the bag is nice. The, we use the bag, keep everything in it. All right, let's talk about generators. It's bargain generator week here at the den. So champion power equipment. This is an outdoor power, uh, outdoor generator, uh, and a gas generator, no frills. This is not your super high end. You're not going to run your whole house on it unless, you know, you live in a, a tree and your Keebler elf, maybe. Uh, 252, $242, 243 with change. Uh, you're looking at a 1500 watt starting 1200 running. So this is, this is like, uh, the, one of those Gator kind of generators kind of beefed up a bit from champion. Again, it's going to be single fuel, no frills, no inverter, but if you know, a little bit of tailgating, that kind of stuff, uh, going for a day camp out kind of thing. Uh, need to run some power to something out, you know, away from the house. This is for $242, not a bad little uh, kit there. Now, if you want to step up a little bit in power, we've got this 430, sorry, 4,375 starting watts, 3,500 running watts. Again, not an inverter generator, not dual fuel. This is just simple, basic. It is carb compliant. It has remote start. Why, why does this have remote start and electric start on it? Which is, that's a pretty sweet deal on a, uh, a generator of this size, not something you see a lot, $450 down from $530 on that. And if you're looking for a battery bank kind of power supply, we got the EcoFlow Delta Mini Portable Power Station, 882 watt hours, 1400 max output. So if you've seen, if you've seen me talking about these before, I, the EcoFlow did send me the 1000. That's the one we've been talking about. This is its baby brother, the Mini, coming in normally $700 on sale for $500. I look at these as like your daily, like day camping, daily outing kind of power supplies. I carry the 1000 around with me pretty much all the time. Uh, you know, and I, I, I've had, so EcoFlow sent me these. Blue Eddie sent me their, their top of the line, and we're, we're still testing that one. They're, they're fabulous power bricks kind of things. They're, they're basically battery in a box kind of stuff. And for just, Super easy portable power. They're fantastic. Uh, and uh, at $500, again, this was going to be like day camping, maybe maybe an overnight. Uh, we take stuff like this down to the cove when we, you know, when we go swimming. Uh, we set up the, the canopy and I get the cooler out there. We got some tunes and everyone can charge their phones, take pictures. We have a great day kind of stuff and, and not exactly be roughing it, if you know what I mean. Uh, and at $500, this is a, a great option there. Now let's move along because I said... We're going to have, a, some, oh my gosh, some specials here. I can't believe, we're not quite to the deal of the week, but I cannot believe, this, this is going to be your mileage, maybe, I can't believe it's still out there. It's the Heart Toolbox tool cabinet. They're still showing up. I get people probably once, twice a week sending me an email or I am or direct message through Instagram. Check us out on Instagram. Check out the, the Facebook group over there. I, they're still out there, folks. These were $400 cabinets, $350 cabinets. No one was buying them at that price, so they closed them out, and yet they still have more. How do they still have more of these things? So there's three cabinets. There's this rolling cabinet. There's the workstation cabinet. It's essentially the same cabinet with a wood top, and it's got a power strip on the side. That's actually my favorite. And then they've got the top box for this, and they're all going for about 100 bucks each. It's way your mileage may vary, all right? Don't bother checking the online at this point because it, it, it they don't they're not showing up in stores or anything. Let's see uh, if I click on the the snapshot here if it'll show it to me in store. It's not even gonna do that. There, uh, not not available currently online. Yeah, uh, you got to go in store. And again, it's not probably gonna be where they're supposed to be. Check the home and garden section. Check check you have to check all over the store anywhere they can hide these things. They might be in the tool section. They might be. I've often found them hiding in like that indoor outdoor area from near the home garden area. You got to look around. That's why we call it deal hunting and not deal finding. Don't come back to me and say, I didn't find it. I'm sorry. I haven't found one. I, I, I my local store had one. They wouldn't sell it. And they finally went down on the price and somebody snagged it before I did that. It happens all the time. Even the tool bear gets, gets beat out every so often. 
All right. This, I can't believe I'm sending you the Sears. It's the deal of the week, the hot tool deal of the week, and it's a Sears Craftsman box. I, at Sears? What? Seriously? I, I, it's $50. I, okay, I admit, I, I am that bear. I have, I'm a Craftsman fan, fan bear. I admit it. I got a soft spot for Craftsman. I have a special soft spot for the red toolboxes. I get it. I'm, I'm guilty as charged. But that said, $50 for a good quality Craftsman toolbox. It's not the greatest, best. It's not as good as your grandfather's quality, but it's not bad. And I love these toolboxes. Now, this is not the kind of thing I carry with me in the truck. It, it, they'll, they'll get dented. They'll get scratched. They won't be red and shiny anymore. I, I, I leave that up to like my DeWalt, uh, my plastic toolboxes and stuff like that. They can bounce around and get scratched, ding, dented. They hold up to everything. They don't rust and you don't care if they get damaged. This, uh, this one, what I use these for is for workstations around the shop at bench top level. Rather than having to go down through all the drawers for all the stuff, I'll have like a solder station. And I'll have all my tips and stuff in there and I'll have different soldering things and I'll have all that in there and all the little drawers and maybe the solder gun up top. Or I'll have, you know, uh, you know, I'm setting up a, a small metal lathe. This would be a great place to put all the little tools and stuff in it. Kind of a, think of it like a mini Kennedy box kind of thing on top of your workbench. They're fantastic for that. If you're doing 3D printing or electronics, kinds of a lot of small components, you got those three nice drawers there and you got a little, little bit of extra space up top for some bigger tools and whatnot. They're perfect for workstation applications there. And at 50 bucks. Now you do have two options. All right. The, the, you have to pay for shipping. It's 12 bucks, at least for me to have it shipped to my home in Montana. It was $12. Uh, but uh, your other option is uh, they got it. Where, where did it go? There we go. You can get free in-store pickup. <laughs> like there's a store anywhere. I checked around near me. No stores. There's no store. No stores anywhere. I don't know. There's one and a half stores left. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, Denver. I like it near Denver. Uh, sorry. Our satellite always tells people that we're in Denver. I, when I watch YouTube, I get all the political ads for Denver. It's fantastic. I can tell you all about Denver's run mayoral race. You have no idea. All right. So that's the hot deal of the week. Even at $62, that is a screaming deal. All right. Let's talk about uh, the bonus round. The bonus round, we got toe straps. All right. So I think it was Doug sent this to me. Doug, thanks a lot. Tycon three by three inch by 20 foot recovery toe strap. The days of toe chains are over. You got to get a toe strap way safer, smoother pull on it. 20 inch recovery strap here. Normally $36. This is the number one selling toe strap on all of Amazon. It's $36. I got a coupon code that should work. I tried it. It worked for me. What you do is you enter in this coupon code and it'll be down in the links below. You enter it in and it shows up as a credit. It doesn't immediately take it off the price, but then you enter, once you process everything and you go to, to finalize it, it then adds it all up and it adds basically adds it as a payment uh, kind of uh, thing. Like it was a gift card kind of thing. It's a weird way to do it, but it works. It worked for me. It should work for you. Anyway, there you go. Uh, if you like, if you thought I, the bear got you some good deals here, why don't you go down there and chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell. We got more Spring Black Friday coming. We saw, if you haven't seen the Harbor Freight one, you got to check it out. Can't believe Harbor Freight had two back-to-back -back killer sales. I'm dumb. I'm as dumbfounded as the next bear. Uh, and then we got Home Depot and Lowe's and maybe Ace coming up here shortly. It looks like it's getting pushed back to the second week. Trust me, that's why you want to be subscribed and ring the bell because as soon as those deals hit. The bear's going to let you know, all right? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.